Serene Reeves from Changing Lives Christian Ministries. We just invite you to worship and give God thanks for all that he continues to do. Despite how your week is going or how it has went, God is still yet good. And I learned last night that stress is a reminder that I'm moving out of my expectation of God and moving into my understanding of who he is. And that God oftentimes comes in a still, quiet voice on purpose. Because, you know, the loudest person in the room we tend to look at, but after we see the spectacle, we stop paying attention. It's the person that is quiet in the room that you watch for. Now, sometimes we'll say this silent but violent, but God is silent but powerful. And oftentimes, he needs us to get real, real close to him to be able to hear. So we want God to be in a screaming voice, but as louder as we want him to be, he goes lower and lower. Right? As a reminder for us to go lower and lower. And that if you feel like you're at a place where you're just on the ground, you might as well just surrender now and stay on that ground. Right? And be at the place that God is putting you in. And I encourage you that you're not the only one struggling. You're not the only one going through. And so in this moment when you think that you are alone, you are in a community of believers that are yet still struggling. And sometimes we forget that Christian also means that we are in a warfare. Right? And God didn't promise us anything in this life, but he promised us after life that we will worship and give him thanks. So stay encouraged. God is still yet working on your behalf. I know you get tired because I am tired as well. But God is still yet good. And he sits on the throne and he's waiting for us to connect to him. Amen. So this song says that you deserve our worship. And so we just want you to worship with us and give God thanks.
remind myself that all the glory, all of the glory. If I have the gift of prophecy 
and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have a faith that can move mountain, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Amen to the word of God. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. Thanking you for all that you are doing for us, even right now. How you are blessing us and you are keeping us, keeping us safe. Lord, we want to thank you for all that you do. We come, Lord, lifting up your name as the highest we can do it, God. The only way we know how to do is to, to acknowledge you that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We praise you, O oh God. We magnify you. We glorify you. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do. Bless your people, Lord, who are listening, God, and want to hear what you have to say to them today. God, we ask that your word speak to them in a mighty way. Bless every song that is sung, that we glorify your name in it. We thank you, Lord, as we are going through this pandemic. We thank you for the relief, God, because you are healing and bringing us out, God. Help us not to forget you, God, and how you have kept us. We just thank you, Lord, for the vaccines. We thank you, Lord, for all those things that are helping healing our bodies. We honor you. We give you praise now, God, as we look to you for all of our help, all of our strength. Help us not to forget what you have done, that in all things, whatever we go to do, that we acknowledge your name, that we rejoice in your name, that we give your name the highest praise because you do deserve it so much. Thank you, God. Now bless our service. Help us to lift up your name. Help us to honor you, God. That whatever we say or do, Lord, that you will find it's pleasing to you. A sweet smelly in your nostrils. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for all you do. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Let's worship our God. Amen. The beauty of holiness. Amen. Lift him up. And glorify his wonderful name.
Come and worship and honor his wonderful, wonderful name because he deserves that and so much more for us because of all he's done. Dying on the cross that you and I might have the right to eternal life. Come on, say amen. Amen, amen because the Lord deserves our highest praise. And I thank him for all that he does each and every day of my life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Our passage of scripture, amen. Get your Bibles, your devices, amen. Amen. Stand with me as we turn to 1 Corinthians, amen, chapter 13, beginning at verse 4. Amen. 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, beginning at verse 4. And the text reads, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects always trust, always hopes, always perseveres. Amen? Amen. I want to read verse 13 in that same chapter. Verse 18 says to us, and now these three remain. Mm -hmm. Faith, mm -hmm. hope, 
and love. But the greatest of these is love. Amen? I want to talk from this subject. Love must never end. Come on, look at somebody and say, love, love. Must, never must never end. Come on, look at somebody and say, love, love. Must, never must never end. end. Amen, amen, and amen. We thank God for his word. I've been in search of a theme for our church this year. It seemed like the Lord just never gave me what I thought I should have, uh, what I thought would be the right words. But I think I'm pretty sure I got them for this year, we almost half of the year. But our theme for this rest of the year is going to be, I love you. Did I say it right? I love you. No matter what goes down, I want you to know that I love you. No matter how bad things get out of whack, I want you to know I love you. Whether we're upside down or right side up, I want you to know that I love you. So I, as I speak to the membership of Changing Lives Christian Ministry and members of the body of Christ, I want to say to you that I love you. And I want you to begin to address one another in a different way. When you call Michelle on the phone and you say, hi, Michelle, I want you to say, hi, Michelle, I love you. When you see Omar in the grocery store, I want you to say, hi, Omar, I love you. It's important that we address one another with love. Love is important because love must never end. It must never end. And I'm telling you, and I want us to, I'm going to stress this with all I can, that I love you. Because as the body of Christ, we have to love one another. No matter what we're experiencing or what we're going through, love must never end. It's, it's, it's strange as we read this book that, that Paul is sharing with us. And, and he is aware of what's going on. And he talks about it in chapter, chapter 12. And it it talks about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And then it seems like if you end the chapter of chapter 12, it should go to chapter 14. Because 14 continues dealing with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But it said that somewhere Paul interjected, amen, a, a 13 of this letter. And it, it deals with it. It's interesting as we talk about the Corinthians. The Corinthians was a rich town, but they had some bad habits. Amen. People thought more highly of themselves than they ought to. In the text, Paul talks about in chapter 12 about the, the Spirit. He talks about the gifts of the Spirit. Each one of us who are saved have at least one gift. But many times what happens when people, hey man, have a particular gift, number one is the gift of tongues or gift of prophecy. They think they are better than somebody else. And, I, and back in the day, that's when they thought, and I thought about it, the day to day and today. If people think because they can speak in tongues, amen, that they are, their gift is better than somebody else who have the gift of giving, amen, or the gift of faith. And, and many times when we do, we exercise this stuff, and we don't exercise it in love. Paul makes it a point that no matter what your spiritual gift are, they are useless and disruptive if they are not done based on love. They should be, amen, love to edify the body of Christ and to encourage believers. And I encourage us to use our gifts, but if we use our gift, amen, to show off, amen, what does God get out of it? He gets nothing at all, amen. I'm telling you, many times we, we have, we claim spiritual gifts, amen, but many times we just sell out because we don't want to sacrifice our life for the love of God. I want to talk to you this morning because I want you to understand that, amen, this type of love that we, uh, we are expected to have, we got to understand that it is different from a feeling love. Because sometimes how we feel our love, amen, goes nowhere. Love, amen, as I describe it, many times we use words to describe our love. We go to the internet, amen, help me somebody, and dictionary, we find these fancy words to describe love, to make yourself I mean, thank you all, eloquent. But love has to be real. It comes from the heart. 
And I'm here to tell you that Paul is not talking about some old feeling, little feeling, good feeling love. He is talking about God's love. That is God's agape, unconditional love. It, it is an unconditional in, in the sense that it does not depend on being loved by somebody else. Let me say it like I want to say it. In God's love, he expects me to love everybody without expecting anything in return. That's agape love, amen. Many of y'all, amen, you, you find yourself, you don't have agape love because if the person don't love you back, oh, did I say something right there? You don't want to love them, amen. But, but I'm telling you, look, we got to understand it is a self-giving love that gives without demanding or expecting any repayment. It is love that loves, amen, loves others when you are still rejected. Agape loves, loves because it wants to. Oh, hallelujah. It loves because it expects nothing in return. It goes because it gives because it loves. It does not love because it's expecting to receive something. I'm going to help y'all. Amen, amen. Agape loves does not require others to love us back even though that's what we want. It is the love of God in us. That love must never end. Come on, say end. Amen. It must never yeah. end. Paul uses several verbs to describe the, the love. Amen. Some of the verbs are, are positive. Some of them are negative. Amen. <laughs> but amen. but I, 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 I might uh, not get to all of them tonight, but, I, but what I want you to understand, Christian love is about setting oneself aside for the good of others. Did I say that? Let me say it again. Christian love is about setting oneself aside for the good of others. Paul let us deal with this problem a lot because the Corinthians had a love problem. They're a love problem and a division problem. And when people are divided, it has something to do with them not loving one another. Right. Oh, I know I'm right about that. All Amen. Right. And I'm here to tell you that we must begin with love. Yeah. Amen. If we're going to be in the middle, love got to be in between. And then if you're going to get to the end, love must be there too. I'm telling you, because love describes our action. Don't you tell me that you love me. And love is using the word. Stop using the word if you don't mean the word. Love, when you say love, we're talking about God's love because I know your carnal love can't love me enough. But with God's love, you're able to love me. This is how Paul described God's love. When he saved us, he gave us his love. I must love with his love. And when I don't, I am loving with my flesh. If I ain't loving with God's love, I'm loving with my flesh. Come on. If I ain't loving my, hey, I'm loving with my what? Yeah, my flesh will act a fool. Amen. I know I'm right. Amen. Lord have mercy. If I'm loving you with my flesh, you, you better be careful. Because I'm in something to change in midstream. All right, all right. My love will break down. Amen. Amen. I, I will lose it. Amen. I will walk away. Amen. I will retaliate. Amen. I will scream at you. Amen. I will go off on you. Amen. In a moment. Because it's my flesh Amen. and not God's love. All right. hey, I believe Paul was using it. He's trying to tell us that that's believer. God loves us. And we must learn to love one another. Amen. And I'm telling you, the first thing I want to talk to you about, find a way. Amen. Find a way to love. And all you want to complain about love because the text says, love is what? Patient. Find a way to be patient. Hey, oh, hallelujah. You don't want to be patient. Amen. He said, patience means to be, to be long-suffering with people. Uh-oh. Amen. To endure with them. While you angry with them, love say be patient. Amen. When, when you, amen. When you want to give up on them, amen. Love say be patient. You give them the, the right advice again and again and again and again, and they will not take it. Yet they call you the next week about the same thing. Amen. amen. But here you, you can't get angry because love is what? Amen. Hey, here, help me, somebody. Love is patient. Hey, the Greek word described is that long spirit. Not to lose heart. Paul knew how tough that would be. Amen. Then he added, he said, not only do I need to be patient, but I love is what kind. Who could call somebody? You got to be patient with people, and then when they act the fool, you got to still be kind to them. Right, right. Amen. That's, that, that's a God they love. Yeah. Who call? That kind of love must not end. Amen. I'm telling you, sometimes people make you want to just rip their heads off. But that ain't God's love. 
That's your flesh. Amen. Oh, yeah. That's you acting up. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you want to tell them off. Amen. But I'm telling you, he says, love is kind. That is kind. That show a, a kind of mildness about yourself. You got to calm yourself down and show kindness. That's what God said, what Paul is saying in the text. Be nice. You got to be nice when you don't want them. Be nice. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. And when you begin to understand that, you begin to understand the call that God has on your life. It's not about your feeling, but it's about the Lord. Doing the work that he's calling us to do. Amen. Sometimes you y'all y'all hung up on your feeling. Let your feelings go. It ain't about you, baby. Love oh. is demonstrated oh. by action. All you right. Talk all you want, but love is an action word. Amen. And God love is patient. And it's kind. And he placed it in us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'm here to tell you, quit asking God for patience. You don't need patience. You already got patience. When he gave it, he placed it in you. Amen. And I'm here to tell you, stop asking him for it. And you what you should be doing, demonstrating it. Because it's already in you. Hey, hallelujah. We will all love is what? Patient. Love is? God. Amen. Right? Amen. And we have the love of God. Of God made love. And God put that love in us. And He expects us to execute. Amen. We must not react or become irritated or become provoked when others get their way and don't amen, own their own stuff. Good God, I'll preach it to somebody here. Amen. Lord. God's love will find a way. I'm going to tell you that, that I'm telling you, there's some people we want to write off. But God did not give you the pen to write them off. Amen. Your job is not to write off nobody. Your job is to love. Because love is patient. Hey, good God, my preacher, my mother, love is kind. Amen. Look, and we must find a way to love people. Amen. Even in their ignorance, we must love. Amen. Even in their hard headedness, we must love. And even when we give them the best advice, and they still don't want to act right, we must love. Amen. Love is important. Right. Good God, my Did I say something? Find a way. To love, amen. Good call, my falling in love is so easy to do, amen. That's the phony love, but real love is a copy love, amen. Loving folk who won't love you back that's God's love. love. Love is patient, love is kind. Then it said, It does not what it does not end, it. amen. It's not jealous. What did I say, amen? Some of us will fall with envy and hatred. If envy is one of the most damaging sins you could ever come upon. It accomplishes nothing, amen, but it, 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 it hurts everywhere it comes. All right. I know it right. Every time I'm telling people who have envy and jealousy, all they want to do is hurt, hurt, hurt. They become resentful of what someone else has. God says, stop doing that because we ought to love one another. Amen. If envy is not good. Find a way to be happy for people. Did I say that? Day? Look for it. Find a way. If you ought to search in your heart, find some good to say something about it. Amen. It could be so envious because somebody else got something that you don't have. If God intended for you to have it, he gave it to you. And since he didn't give it to you, find a way to have love for somebody else. Amen. Don't be envious. Come on here. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not work. It does not what? It does not boast. The Lord have mercy. Boasting is like bragging. Hmm. Lord have mercy. You put yourself on display. Look what I got. Look what I've done. Amen. Look who I am. I am the man. I drive a Tesla. Amen. I'm the one. I drive a Benz. I, amen. Hey, Lord, I'm looking. I drive a Jaguar. But where do you live? Amen. Amen. You're just boasting about what you got. But, but your possessions, amen. Lord, I read, I found a word that I had never heard before. Lord, have mercy. Because the word talks about, it says, they are called brag, but they're called braggarts. Look it up. B -R -A -I, I looked it up. B R A G G A R T. A person who they boasts about his achievements and his possessions. You just a braggart. Who oh, could call him? Always bragging about what you got. Amen. And never giving God any credit. Amen. And always want the limelight, the attention on you. I'm here to tell you, you better be careful, you bolster. God is not pleased with that. Always bragging about what you got. Amen. Because whatever you have, he can take it away from you. All right. you know, I'm telling you, it won't take him all day to do it. Either. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. It's important. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Amen. Lord, help. it is not proud. Be careful. Amen. Lord, turn your nose up to other folk. 
Amen. Like you all that and a bag of chips and something. Amen. Like the air around you all good, but everybody else it stinks. I'm telling you, because if you got to understand, those people who are proud, they, their head gets big. Lord have mercy. I, I, and and they, their head starts to sway. Amen. It's so heavy, they can't really carry themselves. Because, but because it, the text says it inflates, it's blown up. Because you're going to think that you missed the big. And I'm telling you, God will, I'm telling you, he'll bring it down to your side. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 4. Come on, darling. Beginning at verse 18. I want you to look at that just for a minute. That text is really powerful. He said, some of you have become arrogant. Good God Almighty. That's big-headedness. Amen. As if I were not coming to you. But Paul said, you become so arrogant that you think you know everything. Right. That no, you won't listen to nobody else. You think everything you say is right. right. But based on what I've taught you, he said, i taught you, but you just took it to another place. He All said, right. wait, you think I ain't coming? I'm coming back. It was the Lord's will. But if not, I've sent Timothy, who has what I've, amen. He has the proper instructions. And he will teach you the word of God. Watch the text. Come on, let's move. He said, and he said but I will come to you very soon if the Lord is willing. And then I will find out not only how these arrogant people are talking, but what power they have. But Paul, what Paul, I mean Paul, he's making a statement. Look here. When I show up, I, I see what you're talking about. Run in your mouth. Because a lot of times folks run in their mouth, but they have no power. But those who are in Christ, those believers who stand on the word of God, don't y'all know we have power? Good God Almighty. We have dualist power. Holy Ghost power. Power, amen, to call out demons in the name of Jesus. But not in your own name. Amen. amen. Be careful to stay in your place. Amen. Don't get so, amen, so proud that you think arrogant. Lord, have nothing worse than an arrogant person. Lord, have mercy. I'm telling you, they, they, they just, you, they walk around and you don't want to be around them because they're just so arrogant. They think they're all of that. Amen. And don't let them get two dollars. Amen. In their pocket somewhere, they just really become even more angry. Amen. Let's go back. Amen. To First Corinthians. Amen. The Lord have mercy. But the kingdom of God is a matter of Amen. Take talk, but of power. The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. Not a talk, but of power. Not a talk, but of power. Because a whole lot of folk doing a whole lot of talking in church, around the church. Amen. But where's the power? We got to understand we have yeah, power, yeah, yeah. amen, to call out demons, amen, if things are not right in the name of Jesus. And because we have, the power has been placed in us. Right. And we got to understand, that's why I want to show you, it's the power of love. Oh, come on here, Lord. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. Well, Lord, it is not easily angry. It keeps no record of wrong. Let's stay right there. Love, it is not rude. Christians should not be because you got the love of Christ, the agape love in you, and you should not be rude. rude. Work on it. Amen. Stop being rude. Amen. Choosing to be rude. And, don't, and stop blaming the devil because you chose it. Amen. Don't be rude. We're not called to be rude people, but we're called to love. Amen. Lord help us. It is not self-seeking. I'm not seeking always, how can I get on top? I always wanted what's for me. It's best for me. I'm going to do it for me. Amen. Many times we do things self-seeking and become an irritant to people. We irritate people. Amen. By what we want because we never think about somebody else. And I'm telling you, it would make you easily angered. Lord have mercy. Sometimes I want to say to you, to Christians, to believers in Christ, be careful what you say. Because what you say and how you say it can make people feel angry. It is not rude, not self-seeking. It is not easily what? Angry. Angry. But sometimes, Lord, how much? We, we fire up people. Because we know we just give them one word that'll kick them off. But love don't do that. Amen? Love don't uh, seek to make others angry. And then it keeps no record of wrong. Boy, I looked at that thing, I, and then what got me? I, I thought about records of wrong. Everybody has done something wrong. Y'all should say amen louder than that. Yeah. Everybody, amen. And since you've been saved, you're still doing some things. Amen. So stop and stop reminding people of what they did yesterday. About I remember when you used to shut up. I, I don't need you to remind me what I did. I know what I did. But God keeps no record of my wrong. So why are you keeping the record? Who made you the record keeper? When did he give you that assignment? Amen. He told you to be a witness. Amen. But you're trying to take somebody else's job. Amen. He didn't tell you to be the record keeper. Keep your own closet clean. Then you won't have to worry about the stuff in mine. 
Hallelujah. I thank the Lord. Amen. But remembering, amen. amen. Right. No more my wrong. I'm saved. Amen. Sanctified. Amen. And Lord, I'm going to tell you, even though I know some of the stuff that I've done wrong is true. Uh -huh. Verse 6 helps me out. Helps me to move forward. It's, love does not delight in evil. Amen. amen. But it rejoices with the what? Truth. And let truth lead the way. Help me somebody. Let truth lead the way. We all need the truth. God loves, does not find gladness in sin. But the Lord loves truth. Truth will bring us joy. Sometimes truth hurts, but at the end it will give us joy. I thought about truth. And me and Carol have been watching this show. These guys are in jail and they're acting up. And they get in court, acting a fool, carrying on, and Lord have mercy. And what we found out that some of them, amen, that the truth had freed some men and women from jail. While others, amen, are still there because they have no truth. And then I, we looked at a show that talks about Ayana, and I get it right, who's going to fix y'all lives. Lord, she can't fix your life like Jesus can fix it. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, thank y'all. Help me. Amen. Going to fix lives. But what she has allowed people to be able to do to express themselves, that has what happened to them when they were children or, or teens or even adults, and the truth come forth of what happened to them in the past, they are allowed to be freed by that truth. They have a spiritual healing, a, a healing that allows them to be able to forgive us for the wrong that they have done. Amen. And we all need the truth. The truth will help us in times like this. When we understand the truth, Lord, help. truth will remove hate. Hate, amen, is replaced by love. And when we get love, love will give us some joy. Amen. Lord, help. But I want you to understand today, love, but we got to keep on loving. Do you understand me this, this morning? Because love must never end. And many times I think the church is ending love. We're not doing understanding what God is saying and what the text is saying. Love must never end. Nothing should ever make you stop loving me. Are you there? Amen. No matter what I've done, you still should not stop loving me. Because I need love. Amen. I need God's love. It's agape love. That love you should have. And then it says it always protects. Amen? Mm -hmm. Protects says covers. And that's what love does. It covers us. God loves protects us. It always is, is trust. We can always trust God that what he said, he'll do exactly what he said. Yeah, yeah. He always hope. Hope says I won't give up. Amen? That I'm going, things going to get better. And I'm going to hold on because I have I have some hope. Amen. I know it's going to get better. And it always perseveres. That in the end, if I just understand, if I just understand protection and trust and all, understand hope, in the end, I will persevere. Amen. Love must never end. Come on, say it in. Love must never end. It must last forever. And of these three, is it faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is what? Love. Is love. We got to love one another. Now, I'm telling you, I don't want no funny love. I don't want no part-time love, but I want real love. And God expects us to love one another. We must love, amen, always, even to the end, because that's how God loved us. Amen? I'm done, but I want to think. I want you to think about love. Do you love everybody? Amen? Do you really love everybody? Yeah, I tell you, boy, it got quiet. Hey, do you love everybody? Think you at home, think about do you love everybody? Know, God Almighty, you got to you gotta understand, Lord. But man, if you don't love them, tell me why. You, know, you got some excuses of why you don't love somebody based on what they've done. Well, what you done? You done some things, but God still loves you. Hey, love must never end. Amen. If somebody in your family you stop loving, shame on you. You understand you have the love of Christ. Amen. The God may love in you. You must love everybody. I don't care how they irritate you. You still must. Love. Amen. I don't care how mad you are, but they still must love. love. It's important that we love one another. And love must continue. Lord, have mercy. I, I, I thought about what 
can I compare to love? What will show me to help me to understand love? If I'm telling you after the day, you, you will not never eat a sandwich the same way. Because what I want to share with you that love is like mustard. Must earn. Y'all didn't get you. Must earn. You must love. What about mustard? Some people don't like mustard. Because mustard dominates. When you pour mustard on a sandwich, I don't care what sandwich it is, you will taste the mustard. It dominates. It overtakes. Whatever. And, and when I'm, I'm telling you, what I, I want you to understand that when you pour this mustard on your sandwich at home, amen, even if you don't like it, amen, you got the mustard up. Some, amen, some strength, amen. And what I realized, Lord help us, that back in the day in the country, they said, you have to muster up, kid. Come on, muster up some strength, amen. That means go a little far. Do a little better. You can do better. And what I thought about mustard, look, that it dominates so much, Lord, that no matter what I put it on, I know it's there. You're right. Well, your love, no matter what you put it on, All right. it ought to be there. Amen. So no matter what they do to you, you still must. All look, right. no matter how they hate you, you still must. No. Love, love is important. Amen. I don't kill them. If we don't love, we're just making a whole lot of no. Help me, Jordan. If we don't love, we're just making a whole lot of I beg you for me. You just make it a whole I need to hear. Pray. You just make it a whole lot of lot 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 that lot lot you just make it a whole lot of change it a whole lot of whole lot of no whole lot of no that's all you know making a whole lot of no but love Lord help me is an action word Yeah love is an action word in order for the mustard to affect the sandwich I got to pour the mustard help me somebody on the sandwich, amen. And then I got to spread help me somebody. I got it, Lord. I got to spread it on there, amen. And that's what love does. That if you and I have love, if I love Michelle and Michelle love me, help. That love don't spread. You ought to get on Kenny, help me somebody. You ought to get on George, amen. Omar ought to get some, amen. T ought to get some, hey, we ought to get some, amen. That love ought to spread, amen. Tim ought to get some, amen. Thank you ought to get some, because I love you, and love must never end. It must never end. It must never end. If it stopped, you started it, because God loved greater love that he has him, that he would lay down his life for his friend. And I am a friend of God because he sent Jesus to die for my sin. That's love. That's, right. That's what love looks like. Yeah. That's action love. Amen. Yeah. You ought to be willing to love somebody. Love must never end. Yeah. Jesus loved us so much yeah. that he gave his life for us. Died on the cross. Amen. Affected the entire world. Yeah. But on the third day, he got up. Love got up. Love got up. Love got up. Patience got up. Joy got up. Long suffering got up. Kindness got up. It got up. Amen. And because he got up, you and I ought to give up. Love must never, must never, must never. You got break up, but love should never end. Amen. You can choose another partner, but love. Should never end the love of Christ. That's a agape love. It must never end. Amen. These three: faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of the three. It just saying you can have all the faith you want and all the hope you want, but if you ain't got love, you got a problem. Amen. I love. You. Amen. Come on. I, I love, love you. you. Well, what got me, amen, with the Lord, um, what got me with this love, the Lord revealed to me that, Lord, um, one of my favorite characters is I love Lucy. Amen. We went to a show, amen, Lord have mercy, that dealt with Ricardo, we gave Ricardo her husband playing different, amen, songs. But what came out to me was Lucy. Lucy had a show. Every time it comes, it says, I love Lucy. Y'all been looking, amen. It's old, amen. So if I, if Lucy can say that about herself, I ought to be able to say about you. I love you. I love you, Kenny. Amen. I love you, Kiara. I love you, Donald. Amen. I love you, Andrew. Amen. I love you, Jess. I love you. And what I should be hearing, I love you. 
that I love you too. That's what I should be here. Amen. You should be saying, I love you back. Amen. Lord have mercy. The power. Boy, I wish your Luther was here. He was saying, the power of love. Love, amen. We got to have the power of love. That's agape love. Amen. Love ye one another. The greatest gift is to us to love ye one another. Do you love me? Yeah. Okay. Do you love me? Yeah. Come on. Do you love me? Yeah. With agape love. Amen. Love one another. Amen. Love must never yeah. give God a hand of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. It must never yeah. end. I'm going to love you anyhow. I don't care what you do, what you say, how you act. I'm going to love you still. I love every one of you. Amen. All of my haters, hey, guess what? I love you. Amen. Hallelujah. All my non-supporters, right. I still love you. Amen. Yeah. I love you. Amen. Lord. I love you like Christ loved you. Amen. With the agape love. You ain't got to love me back. Because of all, I got enough love for me and you. Because I got the love of Christ yeah. running all over me. Somebody say, yeah. yeah. Say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Love. I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peaceful shore. Lord, have a sinking there. Oh, Lord, have a. But love. Come on, man. Lift at me. I got all this. Yeah. Love. Lift at me. Love. It was God's love lifting me. Nobody else could pick me up. But love lifting me. I'm so glad I got it. Love. love must never end. Give God a hand of praise. All right. Hey, all that praise. Lord, I had a far from the peaceful shore. But love lifted me. I know it was love. Amen. amen. I know it was, amen. I know it wasn't people. Amen. They left me down there. Hey, but love lifted me up. And I thank God for his love. Amen. I love you. Amen. I love you. I love you. That's the bottom line. I love you. Nothing has to come back because I already loved you. And we thank God. Love must never end. Amen. It must never. I don't care how many gifts you have. You don't have the love of Christ. Wasting your time. Love is the key, y'all. Love. Love you one another. I love you. With God's love. It's amazing. I got the unconditional love. I love you anyhow. We give God praise. We thank him for all that he does. It's one of my favorite songs. Amen. Love lifted me. Lifted me. When nothing else could help. When nothing else could help. Love. 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 Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Love. Love. Love.
Amen. Love must never end. You've heard the word of God. Amen. And I know it spoke to you and it spoke to me that we must love one another. If you're here and you've never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as you listen to us and would like to receive the Lord Jesus Christ, please let us know. Amen. 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 Send us a chat. Amen. Send us a message. Text us something that we might come and share the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with you. Love will lift you. I'm telling you, I don't care what the situation is. Love will lift you. But you need the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you'd like to receive him, we extend the invitation to you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Amen. Surely the most the message spoke to you, each of you, that the importance of loving, amen, everybody, love must never end. Amen. I know it's difficult, but we got to be able to do it because God helps us love one another. Amen. I extend the invitation to you. Let like them see the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You can do it right there in your home. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And God has raised him from the dead. Salvation is yours right where you are. You spoke those words. Right where you are in your car. Wherever you are, you're going to see you right there. That's how love works. He loves you that much. And he died for you you might have eternal life to him. We give God glory. We give him honor. And we give him praise. Thank you for being with us. Amen. Thank you, God, for your word. Just want to tell you. opportunity that he has given us to come and worship. Bow down before him to honor his wonderful name. He's a great savior and he deserves all the praise because he loved us when we were unlovable. That's how much God loved us. He died on the cross. We wouldn't even recognize it, but yet he still died. Finally, we came around. He revealed himself to us through the power of the Holy Spirit to help us to realize how much God loves us. I extend the invitation. I want you to recognize it. That God loves you. Yes, you, my brother. Yes, you, my son. He loves you. With all the stuff you've done, he still loves you. Because I know he does. Because he loved me like that. And I thank him and I give him praise. Amen. It's offering time. Praise the Lord. Come on, it's offering time. Praise the Lord. The Lord loves it. Cheerful giving. Amen. To prepare our hearts and minds to give. You can give by coming by the church, 3757 Capitol Dale Road. You drop it in our box. Or you can send it to our P.O. Box, P.O. Box 20832, Yosemite, California, 94803. Or you can send it through Givelify. Amen. You can go to our Facebook page or YouTube page and you'll see it there. Amen. You can transfer the funds to our account. We encourage you. We thank you for giving to our ministry as we continue to move forward in the name of Jesus. Thank you to you for listening to us on today. And then hoping something was said. I would encourage you. Amen. I love you. Amen. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. The God be love. That's how I love you. Unconditional. And we just thank God for each of you. As we prepare our hearts and minds, we ask that you send us a text. Amen. Notify us. If you're planning to come back, we're trying to do a survey to see uh, the membership who would attend our service. Amen. On the first Sunday in June. Amen. We're going to just continue on. Amen. On Facebook and Make sure if you're planning to attend, please send us a note. Amen. Bless the Lord. You're glad to be with us. We thank God for each of you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for attending our ministry. We honor you. We honor God for allowing you to be here. Share the praise and give thanks. Let's bow our heads with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for our hearts. Confess. Our spirit, heaven spirit, that we have the ultimate love from you. Thank you, Lord. Put it on our hearts. Place it in us. Help us.
us to do. My action to show people that we love. Love is an action word. Help us to do it, God. And whatever we do, we honor you. And we give you praise. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this hour that you've given us to be able to spread the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Goodbye. Folks, our members, our friends, the world knows that we love one another. This is our prayer. Yeah.